Just for a bit of context, LACNIC's Caribbean service area consists of 14 territories, which are French-speaking, Spanish-speaking, English-speaking, and Dutch-speaking, and primarily our customers by default are the ISPs. We also have four IXPs in the region in Curaçao, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and soon in Trinidad and Tobago. We have a number of entrepreneurial organizations and, of course, um, many of the universities of the region. LACNIX is in, is in a very visible position, it's in a very prominent position, um, partly due to its own strategic interventions with some of the local communities, for instance with Curaçao, Haiti and Trinidad and Tobago, but also through collaboration with some of the more regional Caribbean internet actors, for instance the CTU, which is the Caribbean Telecommunications Union, and Canto, which is the Caribbean Association of National Telecommunications Organizations. And from this year, what we have is that one of our three major events, our Caribbean event, we have begun collocating this event with CARIBNOG, the Caribbean Network Operators Group. And basically what we are doing is that we are matching the Caribbean internet community and we're hearing their needs and we're also having an event so that they can have a part in understanding and knowing more about number resources and how they would like to see them distributed. So LACNIC plays a leading role, well they play leading roles in the CTU's ministerial seminars, in the Caribbean IGF, the Internet Governance Group, and in exhibitions, in events of Canto. Um, in terms of Canto, the roles vary at times. We give exhibitions, we give presentations, we lend general support, and then we also have more hands-on formal training in some of the core concepts and tools such as IPv6, DNSSEC and RPKI. IETIC is one of those examples of a strategic intervention and IET came about by LACNIC really hearing the internet community. In 2012, there was the fourth LACNA Caribbean meeting, and at that point in time, it was felt that there was some of the concepts that were occurring in the rest of the region that weren't quite familiar to what was happening in Haiti. So from 2013, we launched IETIC, and we began breaking down a lot of the topical networking concepts, telephony concepts, how to do BGP routing, how to deploy IPv6 in networks, and this, I believe, is going quite a, a far away a long way. IETIC isn't um, done strictly out of coincidence. It is part of a wider strategic initiative called the National Action Plan for the Recovery and Stabilization of Haiti, which is an initiative being led by a special mission of the United Nations, um, known as MINUSTA by its French acronym. So at the end of the day, we are hoping that we are developing critical mass in core IT and telephony skills so that Haiti will be empowered to lead their own recovery and development. In the Caribbean region, in terms of IPv6, there is some movement. According to some of the statistics we have, there's a lot of IPv6 allocation in the Dutch Caribbean, in Trinidad and Tobago to some extent, but at least we see as well that there's a lot of discussion, there's a lot of fora in which these issues are being discussed more and more by our Caribbean audiences. In, other than that, um, you have a lot of content that's been provided in, uh, through IPv6 deployment and a lot of the major CDNs, Google, Akamai, a lot of the social media, so we are seeing some movement in terms of IPv6 deployment. Sometimes one may say that it is not the desired level that we would like to see it, but it is becoming increasingly topical. And of course, with LACNIC entering its ex exhaustion phase, the business case is ever more apparent.